We are Andy Mahmoudi, and you are watching Live Prod! June 18, 2011 was a kind of a special day for me, because on that day the very first Live Prog festival was held uh, at Lakai in Helmond. And on that festival three great bands performed uh, for a really enthusiastic crowd and well it was a real party. And one of the bands that played there I was really looking forward to. Um, this was Mind Games, a band from Belgium and definitely one of the best progressive or neo-progressive bands from that small country. Now, I know Mind Games already for many years because in 2004 I reviewed their first release called International Daylight. That album was already um, released in 2002. Uh, I, well, I found out about them a few years later, still got to do the review and I gotta say um, that album really impressed me. Really beautiful music and a real pleasure to listen to. So um, I kind of lost track of them, but that album always stayed close with me. Now, of course, we take a really giant leap into the future. We come in 2011 and, well, not only did I get to reconnect with the band's music, I also got to meet the band and they turned out to be really great guys. So a beautiful evening and, well, they don't play much, especially they don't play much in Holland, so I was um, well, I got the idea to well, present them to you uh, because there may be a lot of people who are not familiar with Mind Games or maybe not familiar with all the albums of Mind Games. Now, I mentioned International Daylight, so let's listen to it then. A little piece of the song Dreaming the Circus. International Daylight, that is this one, was released in 2002 already, so well, about nine years ago. So I gotta say when you listen to the album it sounds a little bit dated, nevertheless it still sounds beautiful. When I play this album I really enjoy it, I love it and I like to play it, well, quite a bit. Now, I said I kind of lost track and reconnected with the band uh, June of this year and I got a chance to see them live on stage and I gotta say they were awesome on stage. B great musicians, a real good stage presence, um, well they played very well and frontman Bart Schram uh, really has a knack for, theater, for theatrics um, because in one of the songs um, from an album the band themselves considered to be their best work um, called Actors in a Play. Um, he even dressed up and well, walked around the crowd and well, um, all in the vein of the song which was very interesting to see and I'm sure he will do that more if he get the chance to perform uh, more often, well hopefully in Holland. Now, as I said um, no. As I said, I want to introduce Mind Games to you. Now, I showed you this one, of course, Act um, International Daylight. Then we have, in 2006, they released this album called Actors in a Play. And so far, the band themselves view this as their well, best work. And then, very recently, 2010, the band released MMX. And this is their third and well, latest album to date. Um, they have a very steady lineup. I noticed that uh, with MMX they had a new bass player, but apart from that, the band is still the same. Uh, they really have grown. Now, 
let's move on to actors in a play because I can talk well a long time but you want to hear some music and of course I can imagine because I want to play you some music because I really like it and I find it very hard to pick out songs that really represent how mind games is because well they are all very beautiful and they all have their own charm a song that I really enjoyed on Actors in a Play um, is The Statue and especially um, because of a little, well, a little instrumental part in this so you can hear how good these musicians are. So, from Actors in a Play, listen to The Statue. Is that the band has grown. The sound is of course it's better, the production is better, uh, but also in songwriting, um, in musician, they move on, you know, they, they improve themselves and they even make much finer, sophisticated, progressive rock. I really like that they have attention for details in the music and that is very evident when you listen to the album. Um, well, the so it, 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 it's a bit of neo prog, but well, who cares? It's really good stuff, definitely. Um, when, when they said that they thought actors in the play was their best work, um, I was very curious, of course, and I gotta say, it is a delicious album to listen to. I really, um, I'm really excited about it. Nevertheless, we'll get to that later, but I am really impressed with MMX as well. So I say. Um, they from from International Daylight they kept the line up and going up you know constantly bringing better music um, improving themselves as musicians now um, you heard an instrumental piece you heard how good these musicians are um, let's go back to the singer Bart Schram because I absolutely love him as a vocalist he has a very pleasant voice to listen to he doesn't have a voice that reminds me of anyone else, like uh, Peter Gabriel or Fish. No, he has a voice of his own, and that's one of the very strong points of mind games, you know, that they have a very good singer who also has a very good stage presence. Again, the hard choice of what song to pick. Um, I'm going for the last track on this album, which is called Both Sides of the Show. The lights made out. The curtain blows High hopes are focused on a play to come alive Sit back and enjoy Silence required Tension is brewing in the air The director's here The props all around Playwrights did the best they could to formulate The ripping words to hear Triggering your fear Spectators hold your breath Open the gates See, the writer's fantasy is supposed to be our destiny. Right from the start, your walk on path is planned down to the last detail. Into the light, where the leading man appear, you suddenly realize you are conditioned to revere. I hope you like what you hear so far about mind games. You know, we covered the first two albums um, International Daylight. And actors in a play. Now, you can very well hear the progression that the band made from International Daylight to Actors in a Play. Now, from Actors in a Play to MMX, the differences are not as obvious. They are more subtle. Um, of course, with, with Actors in a Play, uh, I'm not sure if it is, but I get the impression that it's a bit of a concept album. Um, with MMX, I think it's not really a concept album, um, but it is a very beautiful album. Bring it a little close. Now, put that away. This is 
the first album that comes as a digipack. And, well, here we have the band. You can oh, bring them a little closer. Yeah. You can see them. The bass player is a new addition to the band. Very good job. Especially on the stage. Very good job. Well, here we have the full. You know. I like the artwork, you know, very appealing, very beautiful. Um, but the same goes for the music. Um, I think the differences between uh, Actors in a Play and MMX is that the guitar is moved up a little bit, you know, it's a little more edge on it. Um, very nice. From the start of the album, that is evident. So listen to the first track of the album called The Source. While International Daylight and MMX had were jewel cases with a nice booklet with information on uh, the lyrics, the story, uh, the band and everything, um, MMX doesn't have a booklet. All the information they give is on this page. So that's basically it. Um, I wish they had included lyrics. Would have been interesting you know, to read what they sing about, uh, what's on their mind. Nevertheless, the music is really good and this is definitely one of the better albums from 2010. It's very melodic. I like the guitars. Uh, they have a nice edge to them. Um, but they moved up again. Uh, they're not repeating themselves, although I don't. the style hasn't changed much. But uh, I think you can, um, well, you can hear that it is a different album. Especially because, well, mainly of course of the guitars. I mean, the, the keyboard plays are still beautiful. Uh, the rhythm section is still very strong, very solid. Well, and of course, Bart Schramm, he remains a very constant factor with his beautiful vocals. And I hope that keeps this way because, well, he is just a great singer to listen to. So, one more piece of music for you. Um, and then, well, we're going to end this. I hope you enjoyed uh, Mind Games, I hope you enjoyed the albums. Um, if you're not familiar with them, really check them out and, well, start with Actors in a Play. Definitely start with Actors in a Play, MMX, and if you really like them, get International Daylight if it is still available, because it is still, despite the fact that it's a couple of years old, still a very beautiful album. Uh, it was my first, well, uh, connection to Mind Games and I still cherish that album for that um, but I love Actors in a Play and I love MMX for the more well, modern sound, the more um, yeah, melodic, edgy guitars, keyboards um, in it, whatever. So enjoy Mind Games, uh, check out their website mindgames.be uh, remember they're from Belgium and they really want to play so um, if you see this, uh, if you have a venue and you say, hey, this is a great band, contact them, offer them a stage because they sound incredible live on stage. So, enjoy the final track of MMX called The Pendulum. Thank you for watching Live Proc. Um, well, thank you for watching this little special on Mind Games. And, well, I'll be back with more great reviews on LiveProc.com. It's impossible to stay that these things have to be the same. But to recognize the difference, we have to consider them as equal.